Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue, and recently I did a uh, video on hunting teddy bears. It was a comedy video, and I was kind of surprised at how many questions I got on the guns that I used in that video. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to give you a rundown of those guns, and we'll do a little bit of shooting with them. Well, we used two guns in the uh, teddy bear hunting video. We used this 4570 Harrington Richardson handy rifle, and we used this combination gun, which is 4570 on one side and 12 gauge on the other. And we'll go through both of them for you right now. We'll start off with the handy rifle. Now the handy rifle is a great little woods gun. It's got a 20 inch barrel. Uh, single shot, chambered in 4570. You can get them in a lot of different calibers. I made some changes with this one. When, when I got it, it had a plastic stock and it weighed about as much as a postage stamp. And that 4570 used to just whack the heck out of me. So I put a standard H&R uh, handy rifle wooden forend on. But on the back, I put on a Buffalo Classic butt stock, which is a nicer piece of wood and it also has a uh, steel butt plate and it's checkered and uh, just in general it gives a much better much better feel and balance to the gun and uh, the additional weight really does help to soak up that 4570 recoil. Another unique feature on my handy rifle is the trigger guard. Uh, handy rifles come with pretty horrifically ugly plastic trigger guards. I just cut that off and I put uh, a Kentucky Rifle trigger guard on, a uh, brass trigger guard I got from Dixie Gun Works, polished it up, and then I, I inletted it into the buttstock and uh, put a wood screw in, and I drilled and tapped the receiver for a 1032 machine screw and attached it that way, and I like that much better. Another custom feature of my handy rifle are the sights. I took off the sights that, uh, that come with it, uh, which are just standard partridge type open sights. And I put on a fiber optic uh, front sight. Uh, this gives me an orange dot. And then on the rear, I put on this Williams guide sight. It's an aperture sight, uh, very easy to use in the woods. It's very fast. And it makes it makes this rifle uh, very quick handling and uh, and fast to bring up on a target. Well, the loading procedure with the handy rifle is pretty simple. It's a simple brake top, and there's a lever right here that you depress, and it opens up the action, and will kick out your empty. And from there, it's just a simple matter of putting the uh, fresh round in. Closing it, you're safe until you cock the hammer. So let's see what it'll do. This side by side gun started off as a Baikal Bounty Hunter 2 shotgun. Uh, these are imported by European American Armory, also known as EAA. You can find them at EAA Corp on the web. And uh, this was a standard 12 gauge shotgun with 20 inch barrels. Get it out here. So it's a coach gun style. And what EAA does is they sell these inserts. So the insert, I'm going to try to get this lined up. The insert goes right in here. Uh, you, you put it in the rifle barrel. The uh, extractor for the insert gets picked up by the shotgun extractor, and that's that's how it it's able to lift uh, lift a shell out for extraction. It comes beyond the end, and what you need are screw in screw in chokes for this, which this shotgun has. There's a little alignment pin over here, a little collar, and then you screw down this muzzle screw, and that anchors everything in. So it's actually it's a pretty neat little arrangement, and it's not really very expensive. The uh, the shotguns are still available from EAA, and they cost about three hundred and fifty dollars, and the barrel inserts are about one hundred and fifty. Now, when I first did this, I tried putting two of them in, tried to make a double rifle on the cheap because I love double rifles. But as it turns out, the shotgun barrels are, are just not regulated well enough 
to give you a double rifle quality. So I pulled one of the inserts out and I made it a combination gun. So now it loads with 145.70 and then with a 12 gauge. And the beauty of that actually is that it made it a better gun because uh, even though I was shooting teddy bears, when I go camping alone in bear country, which most of Pennsylvania is now bear country, and I, I do a lot of camping alone in the fall, uh, I, I bring this gun as my tent gun because that load of buckshot is going to be exactly what you need for close quarters uh, in the dark without aiming. So it's a good jump shooting gun. And this 4570 lets you make a longer shot if you need it. So if you're hunting in thick cover, this gun does very well because the 4570 barrel can reach out there and take your 100 yard shots. But if you got a jump shot, you can take it in close cover with a shotgun barrel. <coughs> I'm going to pull these out and then show you the sights. All right, this came with shotgun bead sights, as you would imagine. And what I did is I, I just fitted it up. There we go. Fit it up with a uh, Williams Guide uh, sight. And this is just a, a standard, uh, standard hunting sight. It's got a square notch. And then on the front, I put a, a uh, pretty standard ramp sight with a partridge type sight. And I just mounted those right to the rib. So this one's attached directly to the rib and this one I dovetailed into the rib and they are uh, set for the rifle barrel obviously and then the shotgun barrel goes where the shotgun barrel goes which is close enough to the rifle barrel that I can use these shots in a hurry but it's a good point shooting gun and it balances quite well. Well as I said I love break top guns and double rifles particularly but Unless I hit the lottery, a good British double rifle is pretty much out of the question. So this was my first attempt at getting a viable double gun that was at least some sort of a rifle for myself. Now since then I've picked up a, uh, a pretty inexpensive Russian double rifle, and I'll do a video on that sometime. But someday I'd love to pick up a 19th century side hammer double for 450 uh, black powder and just take that out and have some fun with it but until I hit the lottery, that's probably not gonna happen. But this thing loads conventionally, just as you would expect a side-by-side -side to load. And we load it with the 4570 in the left tube. And these are special black powder buckshot loads that I made up for teddy bear hunting. Uh, when I've got this thing in the tent with me, I generally just use commercial buckshot and commercial 4570s. This is going to be a black powder 4570 load as well. And uh, let's see what this baby will do. Pretty sweet, huh? Now, another question I got asked a lot from that video is how did we get the exploding effects uh, coming out of the teddy bears? And the way we did it was by making up these two liter bottles of teddy bear vital fluid. And what I did is I opened up the backs of the small teddies and uh, removed enough stuffing to be able to fit these bottles up inside them. And then when we shot them, these bottles just exploded in, in pretty spectacular fashion. Now, it was around 40 degrees the day we did that video. Today, it's about 15. And my biggest problem is actually, uh, this is one that we just shot, that my teddy bear vital fluid is freezing before I can get it shot. Now the bottles luckily are big enough and warm enough that they're holding together, but as you can see, these things are icing up immediately when they're shot. Uh, anything that lands on the outside is just freezing solid because it is wicked cold today. This is the last thing a teddy bear sees. <laughs> 